Hi all, welcome to episode 2 of this Pompey Premier League, we're going straight into our final group game against Exeter City, if you can smash 20 plus likes guys, we are awesome, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe and follow me on Twitter, at Jeez Legend. This game guys, looks a cracker, um, if I would say if we win this game, looking at how, after two games, I would say we can qualify, we might get away with a loss, but I would say we've got to take the win, or a draw, um, um, Exeter are probably another team that will probably be in the top half of the table, I would say they're a very good outfit and hopefully see what we can put together and right away we've banged a goal guys, absolutely delighted, not been what five minutes in and we're 1-0 up, this is cr a cracking result guys, right away, um, don't know what to expect from um, Pompey, still primarily due to not really signing any of my own talent yet and mostly relying on what I have. So, hopefully before you've suggested guys, it'll help me out massively and with what I'm going for as well, I'll be hopefully on to a winner. So that's a good goal there from Portsmouth there and Gary Roberts, the best man in the team, 68 rated as well. Good talent. Right, um, what can we do with this? We're just getting cut open now, cut open, cut open, that is a good save. What the hell, defender couldn't get it, the goalie's not got it still, what the hell, that is... Seriously, it's like all you need is like a duck sound in the background that sparring DK uses. That'd be perfect for this. That's what that kind of moment's like. It's gone for a duck. Great save to start off with. Don't know what the defence are doing. Everyone's everywhere, and it's just a f free tapping. Absolutely free tapping. Ah oh dear, one one. Right, not much time to go, and. That's what stings as well, when you're 1-1 one, one with not much to go, you'd hope that you would keep the lead, but clearly not in this case. So, we'll keep plugging away guys, and hope for the best. We've got a chance here, an unexpected chance. Can we score? No we don't. Can we get the rebound? No we don't. Try again? Nope. So basically out of three attempts, no luck. 90th minute. Uh, please tell me Exeter are not going to score. If they do, then I'm disappointed. Good defending there from Davis. He has put a hard shift in. So we've got a draw, guys, to make it 1-1. I think that's definitely got us through. In the background, you can see our squad. We kind of tweak um, the squad a little bit here. Plus, also, um, I thought I'd do this just to also showcase what we have for a starting 11, what we have for a bench, and also our reserves that we plan to get rid of. We have a lot of young talent. It's like English... And I think um, Scandinavian talent from like Denmark and Norway, we plan to loan most of the guys out. We don't plan to sell most. The only ones we probably will sell are Ata um, Atanga, I think. Atan Atanaga, I think. That's, I can never say his name right. Nigel, he, he's the French CDM. Plus a couple other guys that we'll probably just sell just to kind of fund up money a bit. Like um, Stockley's on loan, I don't really want him. Probably just keep them just for now. Um, Clark, the centre half. This is our prospect guys, Varela and Boxall. Boxall's at right back this year. He was a centre back, I'm sure, so I'm not sure who to go for. But I'm definitely going to go. I've put bids in for Varela. Um, he only wants 3k a week as well, so he might be worth going just for a backup. But Davis is a good right mid, but even right back, but he's plays at right mid. We're going for Tyus Browning, Pennington, and also. Um, Texria is also options in McNair but we've got Joe Gomez who we've been able to accept as a loan offer so we're grabbing him our second one is Cal McGregor so we're going to grab him the third option is Duncan Watmore so I'm delighted to get him so we'll snap up Watmore and the last confirmed one is Tyus Browning so that's got us plenty of options guys um, Gomez is a 67, Watmore is a 62, Brown is a 66, and McGregor is also a 66, so they're all very good rating guys. More talent that we're signing in guys that was suggested, Paddy McNair was suggested, I didn't think of him, which was quite interesting. Scott Allen, which I suggested, um, delighted to sign him up. Didn't expect to get him though, because he just signed for Celtic, but we've got him on loan, 
and Tixria we were suggested as well, but I'm now going to reject him with getting Paddy McNair, so thanks for those suggested guys. Um, Allen's a 66 and McNair's a 66, so that is good signings guys, thank you. And on to the Bandley game guys, um, delighted with what we've got, so we're going to bring all the new signings into the Bandley game. Hope for a good start guys, Bandley are a league up, so this is where, especially in professional, if I can compete with Bandley, then I'll be delighted, because I don't know what to expect. Um, with this semi-final, so if we can get a good result guys, we will have a good chance of getting some good money, and it kind of just went down the drain, didn't it? Yeah, 1-0 down. Oh dear. And we're getting this attack guys, we've got to get a goal, we're pushing well. Bit of an odd touch there, and what more, sadly couldn't put away. Still promising though, he's a good young talent. Um, Ah, he's kind of side-footed, that's kind of maybe why. Easy save in the end. So, all the new signings are in, guys, so thank you for suggesting McNair. And that was much appreciated. I think Browning was suggested as well by a couple of folks, so thanks for that, guys. So we're on the attack yet again. Let's see what we can muster up this time. What can we muster up? Seriously. I can FIFA 15 have scored that. Ah, oh, maybe previous FIFA, but that is, I'm not going to deny that, it's probably good goalkeeping and defending. And now Barnsley are kind of, had said enough, saying you've had your chances, you couldn't take them away, here's what we're going to do for you. That's a good ball in deep. Oh my god. That should have been 2-0. That should have been 2-0. Jesus god. Ping pong football. Oh dear. Ah, good to have a bit of fun. Make it exciting. See if we can get this away. That's a good near post corner as well. Just defended it well. Oh, come on. That's just so crap. Oh, come on. Come on. Get the ball away, please. Thank you. Nope. Ah, dear. Uh, we're going to maybe get one last chance. One. Maybe one. Can we even get the ball for a kick-off? But come on. If we can get this ball for a kickoff, lads, it'll give us a good chance, but I can't see it because Barnsley are defending very deep, and yeah, that's kind of just killed that off. So we get knocked out in the semis, guys, of the cup, and we're loaning out Kyne Smith now, which we don't need, so he's out the door. We are going to bring in, we've been suggested, Bernard Mensah, who's a good young talent on loan, which I didn't expect. I thought we'll go for him, and we've Gone for James Wilson, who's suggested to us as well, so thanks for that. Wilson sounds a good talent, and Varela we are going to sign as well, who we were suggested. So thanks for all the suggestions, guys. Much appreciated. And we're also getting Deli Ali, who I was delighted to get as well. So that's the team super, super strong. Absolutely delighted, guys. Some impressive ratings for those players, so thanks for this, guys. I think that's the sign is wrapped up. Remember to leave a like and sub and follow. We'd be much appreciated. Take easy, guys. See you all soon.